On this week's Case Fab, we're going to talk about one of the more common forms of bone cancer that I see as a veterinarian. It's called osteosarcoma, and while I can see osteosarcoma in cats and dogs, it's something that we see most commonly in dogs, and not just any dog. I think about my large breed dogs when I think about this disease. So your German Shepherds, your Great Danes, your Rottweilers, and when I also think about animals that are intact. So, I mean my female animals who aren't spayed, and my male animals who aren't neutered. And so behind me, and before we get to it, is an x-ray of a dog called Rex. Rex was an eight-year-old male intact German Shepherd who came to see me for progressive left front lameness. And so that means that there were periods of time where Rex wouldn't put any weight on his left front leg and he would stand with it extended from his body because putting weight on it was presumptively so painful. And so my next task as his doctor is to figure out as much as I can where on the leg the discomfort is coming from. So I was able to do an a limited, a uh, very limited exam on Rex, and I was able to determine that the area of discomfort on the left leg was the shoulder. Because of his breed, his age, and his size, I was concerned about some sort of bone cancer, so osteosarcoma being the most common. And what we do is we take x-rays to determine, hey, is that what's going on? Uh, so we gave Rex a couple days of pain medication. He came back in for sedation, and we were able to take some really great x-rays that we'll talk about right now. So when I look at this, the first thing that I notice and that I want you guys to notice is that we have an L here and that lets everyone know, me and you guys, that this is the left side of Rex's body. And then based on the anatomy that we're seeing, I'm able to determine that this is his left front leg. And if we follow Rex's distal end, it's nice and smooth. There aren't any real abnormalities here. But if we look at the proximal end of Rex's humerus, we can see that there's this area of irregularity, almost kind of cloudy, fluffy um, bone growth on the proximal end of Rex's humerus. Uh, we have another view of that repeated uh, irregular growth of the humerus. So we've got an aggressive lytic, so very destructive bone lesion. Without a doubt, this remodeling, this abnormality, and this lytic, this lysosome bone destruction is the cause of Rex's pain. So what do we do about it? There are a couple of options in a case like Rex's. The first and foremost is alleviating his discomfort. And how do we do that? We actually go ahead and amputate the leg. So imagine how much pain this is for him. If we remove the limb, that pain is gone overnight. The pain is gone and he feels a lot better, which is really important, especially to his family, which what they see is Rex suffering and Rex is in pain. After amputation, we would also talk to the owners about chest x-rays and abdominal imaging so that we can look for spread of disease, so metastasis. Has this cancer gone anywhere else? And if it has, we would refer Rex to an oncologist. Uh, unfortunately, with osteosarcoma, which is what we suspect Rex had, uh, regardless of which route you take as the owner, the prognosis isn't great, so I always encourage uh, the family to spend as much quality time with the pet as possible.